Yeah, well, we moved to Boston for four years. We moved back. There was actually a couple that was from Boise that had a house in Boston, and they would go into his bar in Boston because they just loved Sean. They just loved this, the, the hospitality that he gave and the, the service that he gave and the cocktails he made. And, um, and so they'd visit him in both places. And um, I feel like most of the people who came to our wedding were Bardenay regulars. We still have a lot of Bardenay regular friends, but when we would travel, you know, we'd be out. I, San Diego, this happened, I mean, even in Europe, We'd be out and somebody would say, oh, I know you. And I'd be like, well, yeah, I'm, I, and not you, him. You're, you work at Bardenay. Always. Everybody knows, everybody knows Sean for Bardenay. So he's, uh, he's famous across the lands and ponds. <laughs> I have known Sean for about 19 years, all of which have been from Bardenay. I started in 2005, just about the same time as he did. So very long time. He takes a lot of pride in being a mixologist, and um, he he really pushes our staff, his um, co-workers, to become more knowledgeable. He, he most recently started a library within the Bardenays where he's been purchasing all of these cocktail books and having people read about, you know, what are they doing in New York City? What's going on in the other part of the world? And um, I just think he really pushes the boundary of what we're capable of doing and, um, you know, moving forward the bar industry in Boise as a whole. I have known Sean for seven years now. I get to see him engage with our employees, create fun cocktails, really put our employees first. What's the trends? What do they want? Creating those cocktails that will specifically um, relate to our guests coming into our doors and he really is looking at the overall picture of hospitality is from the second they walk in how do they have a great experience and all the way down to the cocktail and making sure they feel comfortable and talking with them everyone always comments you know he's the one that is supposed to work the bar talk because he is like the talker he knows how to um, really understand people, make it fun, make it exciting. Um, you know, in 10 minutes, you'll know Sean's whole life story because he's just that open and honest and he's a really great person. I've known Sean for nearly 20 years. I think he came to work for us part-time out at Eagle so shortly after we opened. And you know, hospitality, there's a term for, I think people who are extremely good at it, they're hospitalitarians and it's something you can't train. And Sean has it naturally. He is just instantly likable. He is, doesn't have a big ego. He can relate with a lot of different people and just with that warmth and smile that he just naturally exudes, it makes him, to me, the ideal hospitalitarian. We've been lucky enough to try to travel to some shows in Florida and things down in Vegas, showcasing his talents and people around town know that he has this great skill set in addition to his natural ability to make you like him. Sean, has this uncanny ability to make anyone feel at home, uh, whether it be our team members um, or any visitor. Uh, he just sets everybody at ease. Um, he really embodies the spirit of hospitality in that he's not just looking to sell you something. He wants to find all, all about you, what you like, what you dislike, and then he'll, he'll provide whatever you're looking for or what you don't even know you're looking for. He has the answer. So we have been um, very fortunate to have him on our team. A funny story about Sean. Um, we just started doing liquor tastings um, in the Idaho Liquor State um, stores um, to promote our product. And a, a guest coming or a customer coming in um, actually was looking at a different product. And he ends up going away from our booth and helping them find the perfect whiskey even though we sell whiskey and we have these products, he took it a step beyond to make sure to really understand what they wanted, what they needed. And he chose a whole different product because he wanted to know what would work best for them. And that really does embody it. He's not here just for us. He truly cares and is excited about alcohol and the whole process. I thought it was a funny thing that I did have to come in and follow him around, you know, on his shifts. Um, because he 
would re he refused to give or take a phone number at the bar. He said he didn't want to be that bartender that was picking up on girls or letting girls pick up on him. And so um, I think even, you know, the first couple of times I was coming in and enjoying some Barney vodka, I said to him, I'm going to marry you someday. And he was like, you know, he'd laugh it off. And, and uh, so, yeah, I had to run into him somewhere else to get that phone number exchange. Yeah. Sean, this is the Sexy Rose Award. Yeah, and uh, nobody better to receive it. I am so excited for you, so proud of you. Uh, long earned with more than a couple of decades in the service industry. Everybody loves you, but no one more than me and your two girls. You are the best bartender. You're also the best husband and dad. So congratulations, I'm really excited for you. Thanks, my man, congratulations. Sean! Sean! Congratulations on being the nicest! And the best! The nicest best! The best nicest! Sean, congratulations! Um, I not only have the pleasure of working with you, but of calling you my friend. And I am so proud of you and so happy that you are part of our team. Congratulations! Hey, Sean, congratulations on the award. Can't think of anybody more deserving, man. Uh, we're here to tell Sean early he's amazing and he deserves all the awards and accolades. The world can throw at him because he's a really super guy and a great friend. And my be best friend over here, Craig West, agrees. Uh, yeah, um, it was actually Sean who brought us together. Um, I got to meet, meet Stefan at, uh, before Sean and Bree's bachelor bachelorette party, and we're not going to talk about what did or did not happen there. But, uh, I mean, he's a stand-up guy, and that's one thing that Sean does. He's a stand-up guy sitting down, actually. And he's witty as all get out. So, uh yeah, uh, he brings good people together and he makes people happy. He is the definition of hospitality. Congratulations, Sean. You deserve it. Hey, Sean. Congratulations on the Rose Awards, man. I'm surprised you haven't won an award before now. You should have. Okay. Well, congratulations anyway. Bye. Congratulations, Sean, on behalf of the entire team here at Visit Boise and our board of directors. We are super proud and happy to give you the 2024 Spirit of Hospitality Award.